Okay, so I'm going to tell you um, one case uh, of which the uh, Kodak 8100 3D is an excellent uh, CT scanner and it allows me to think outside the box a little bit sometimes and you do things which ordinarily with some cases we wouldn't have been able to um, do the things that I'm doing. And this case is a chap who hasn't had teeth uh, or dentures for a few years and we've ended up doing it all on four for this chap. Uh, he was very scared of having his gum cut. He didn't want to go down the road of uh, normal incisional implant placement. Uh, so to think outside the box, what we've done is, and I've uh, developed this, we're calling it the Nulti Method. Um, this is a, um, a wax trying impression. And what we did was we took a wax, uh, we made a denture for him. Uh, the wax triad I've inserted ball bearings, uh, three into the fitting surface, three into the uh, buckle surface, uh, sorry, four into the buckle surface, which are half into the uh, wax trying, which enables us then to take the CT scan with the wax trying with ball bearings in. The, wax, the CT scan gives us excellent high resolution um, images and one, it also enables us uh, to do something which ordinarily I probably wouldn't have been able to do or would have been difficult to do, uh, which I can have at my fingertips as an easy resource, which is taking uh, an object scan. And you can take in, uh, impression scans, you can take model scans, but the way this has ended up, I've taken a scan uh, of an impression of the inside of that fitting surface of the um, uh, the wax trying. So you can see we've got indentations from the uh, fitting surface in three places. Those show up excellently on the high resolution model scan and the same on the, um, the outer surface. Uh, when those combine with a software, for example, Smop, which I use, it enables us to line the image up with the, the STL up with the CBCT scan perfectly, which I'll show you in the other room and this lets us do incision free all on four in a case that looks like you'd be very limited in the amount of space that we have available for bone and it means that the lineup is perfect because we're not relying on uh, a technician or someone like ourselves lining up the the air uh, border on the ct scan it lets the model line up perfectly because the uh, cbct scan shows the ball bearings with perfect accuracy and I'll show you in the other room about So, that. you've seen how this the model can be scanned on the machine and that comes up like this on the CS model and we can see there's a high resolution scan of the fitting surface and we've got these indentations, we've got a beautiful margins, everything's coming up here. You can have it with a model or without and what that enables us to do then is to bring up the, the SMOP guide lined up with these ball bearings which if I take down the density, it will show only the ball bearings, which using the Nulti method, we can line up the model with the indentations perfectly. And do, by doing that, we can create a SMOP guide like this, which we can fit over the patient's model and check its accuracy, check it in the mouth, but this will fit in with the patient, It'll the fixation screws drilled in, it lets us place four implants in the perfect position with no cutting of the gum, all thanks to the ability of this scanner to be able to take a perfectly accurate CBCT scan and model scan.